Hey guys, today I want to talk about when is the best time to buy Snapcaster maids. Now, Karn Liberated, in my opinion, is a very good foil, if you will, for the Liliana to Veil, since both of them will were mythics. Karn was reprinted as a mythic. Snapcaster, we can expect to be reprinted as a rare. The big difference here is in the graph. The graph of Snapcaster represents Noble Hierarch's graph a lot better. So when you can pick up Snapcaster, should it be, I'm going to assume two things for this video. It's going to be reprinted in Modern Masters 2017, which is just a month away. And it will be reprinted as a non-mythic, as a rare. I doubt it will be reprinted as an uncommon. Just like Noble Hierarch, it's very good in Modern. It's very good in Legacy. I think Snap actually is better in Legacy, but Noble is better in Modern. And they're both very good in EDH. So when you look at Snapcaster's graph, you see something that is kind of telling from the high of $86, which was only, it was June 2015, so that was only nine months, no, a year and a half ago, it has gone down a ton, which is kind of different from this graph, but also kind of the same. So when the Modern Masters 2015 was announced, when that playmat was announced, and people knew Noble Hierarch would be reprinted. That was Modern Masters was released May 29th, 2015. So let's just call it Dragons of Tarkir. Around Dragons of Tarkir was when people knew, as you see that large spike down, or large decline, a vertical drop. It's because people knew about it before it was actually released and printed. So just like Karn Liberated, it has a trend down and it's had a bit of time from Battle for Zendikar to Oath of the Gatewatch where it was below $40. Today it is $63.28. And honestly, its graph looks better than Karn Liberated's graph. And you might be like, wow, that's kind of weird, right? It's a rare, it's not a mythic. Well, it turns out Noble Hierarch was seeing a ton of play in Modern, and Modern had, you can see in, not A for Revolt, where it kind of goes down a little bit, but Kaladesh, it spiked up again. So its spike actually happened in Kaladesh, not in Oath of the Gatewatch, like Karn Liberated. Both cards were, are very good, both ca cards are highly tradable, very liquid assets, and the big difference here is you can see the decline was much steeper. It was much steeper for Noble Hierarch. Even from its Dragons of Tarkir price to its right before Oath of the Gatewatch price, Dragon of Tarkir looks like it's over $60. Let's call it 60, not 60, not 70, $65. And then Oath of the Gatewatch at its lowest point, let's call it $35. So it drops about half, which is a lot more than Karn Liberated dropped. And because people know it's a rare and it's not a mythic and people are opening more and more of them. However, it has a higher demand. Snapcaster is on the decline. It has been on the decline for a long time. And one of my concerns about the card and why I feel like its graph is more akin to Noble Hierarch than Karn Liberated is it's going to drop harder. Meaning it will drop probably half its price point. And again, we are looking at the original distance. In this case, it's Conflux. In the case of Karn Liberated, it was New Phyrexia's edition. You will be able to get the reprinted edition cheaper. I'm expecting Snapcaster to drop like a rock. And in 90 to 80, 180 days, you can pick it up for 50% of what it currently is worth, the original edition. And then it will likely take off again, just like Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch in my opinion, was a way better buy if you bought it at the low point than if you bought Karn Liberated at the low point. Uh, in terms of how liquid it is, in terms of just everything about it, uh, how easy it was to get at that point in time, and just the price drop and the price return. So both of them have returned to pretty much their pre-reprint prices, but Noble Hierarch has done a better job. Anyway, leave me a comment below. I will do some investigating about, or I'll try to make the counterfeit video sometime today. I'm at a Super Bowl party right now, so yay, and I'm recording this on my iPhone. Bye, guys.